Natalie Burton with Brian. In our HKR 2300 class with you, in lecture six, we learned about the development of ballistic skills. Chloe has never played baseball in her life, and I'm going to show her how to make a proper overarm throw using all of the, fa the overarm throwing phases. In class, we learned that overarm throwing has three different phases. The preparatory phase, the execution phase, and the follow-through phase. I don't know how to do either of the phases, so that's why Ryan is going to teach me how. First, I'm going to show you how I would throw a ball without Ryan telling me anything. For the preparatory phase, you want to step back, turn your foot to the side, and you want to come off and you want to reach back. Okay. This, this will be the preparatory phase. Okay. Let me give that, let me give that a try. Good throw. So Ryan just said because he told me that, I threw the ball faster and harder. The execution phase is when following the throw, you move towards the target. After the preparatory phase, I threw the ball a lot more accurate, a lot harder, and with a lot more velocity. Now, since Ryan's going to explain to us what the follow-through is, I'm also going to add that to see if I can throw even better. The follow-through phase is when, after making the throw, you move in the direction of the target. This will help with distance, velocity, and accuracy. Ryan really wasn't feeling well today, so we just did a couple clips out in the rain just to try and get something done. But as I'm sitting here and editing it, I do see a really big difference in the way that I now throw a ball. Before we started this project, I wasn't really super familiar with the different throwing phases. However, Ryan sat me down and explained to me what each phase was. The preparatory phase means that all movements are directed away from the intended line of travel. So when I had first thrown the ball the first time, I just kind of pushed my arm into it and let the ball go. However, the second time I did it, I leaned more away from my intended target and leaned more into it when I let the ball go. The execution phase is kind of self-explanatory. Obviously, the ball went somewhere and it went to the intended target. So I already kind of had that part down pat. One thing Ryan explained to me when I threw the ball the first time after we cut the video was that my follow through was the worst. A follow through is when all your movements follow the release of the projectile. So when I was done throwing the ball, I kind of just stayed in one position. But after he had explained to me exactly what I had to do, I was able to push the ball and then continue moving my body in the direction of the intended target. After spending probably the 10 or 15 minutes we spent at the ball field, I learned four really important things the preparatory phase, the execution phase, the follow through, and to never let me join a baseball team. 